Ooh, it's very salty. Oh, okay. Well, this is an experience. Mm-mm-mm. A little silkware box. Like 20 minutes. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem. I hope you're having a blessed Ramadan, a happy Ramadan, or a blessed and happy month if you're like, Ramadan, what's that? I We are fast approaching Eid, which is the end of Ramadan, the end of this holy month uh, in which Muslims are completing their fast. Uh, those who are able, and I decided that for one day I would experience a fast um, to connect myself more with the area, the region, the religion that is uh, so prominent in our home, in our homeland. So um, this is our fifth Ramadan since moving to the Middle East. And my first time to challenge myself to fast from sun up to sundown. And I wanted to share the experience with you. So for those who don't know, uh, the purpose of this fast is for Muslims to stay conscious of the struggles of others, uh, as well as focusing on their faith. So it's an abstinence not just from food and drink, but from sex and from smoking during the fasting hours. Sorry, I am <coughs> fighting the change in weather that is happening now has brought on so much dust. Everybody in the house is fighting cough and sneezing and a bunch of joyous things. So that added to the struggle of not being able to drink water for a little over 13 hours. Uh, but I did it and I wanted to share it with you. A, a day of fasting, I broke that fast uh, at Iftar with some very close friends uh, on camp here. And who knows, maybe next year I will try to challenge myself further for a week, maybe eventually one day going even longer. I so yeah, to keep in mind, like this is one day of fasting and those observing Ramadan are doing this for all 29 days. I hear some clips of me fasting. <laughs> Okay, it is four in the morning. Oh, I'm gonna have some breakfast. <laughs> oh my. Uh, I think technically I have until 5.30 when the sun rises. But I'm gonna try to eat this now. Maybe have coffee. I'm, I do not feel like having coffee right now, but, um, and then try to go back to bed. <laughs> Uh, something I didn't think about when I decided to do this was my thyroid medication. Um, because I'm not supposed to eat for like an hour after I take it. Um, it's supposed to be the first thing in my stomach. So I'm curious how uh, any Muslims that participate in fasting handle thyroid disease, uh, I don't know, bon appetit. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit before 5 a.m., I'm gonna try and go back to bed. I've had coffee. I've eaten as much of my breakfast as I can, but it's really hard to eat this early 
and I never eat immediately after waking up. I don't feel like I was able to eat very much, so we'll see how this goes. Um, okay. Okay, I'm trying to go back to sleep at 5 a.m. after a cup of coffee and a full meal. Good night. So you have to use, I only use this color. I use a metal. Color eraser playing toys. Huh, what color? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. I have eight hours to go. I'm thirsty and hungry. Oh, not right now, baby. We're playing sleep, finding ways to pass the time. I started a couple house projects and gave up on them. Now it's nap time. Hey, nap time. Nap time! <laughs> I'm hungry! Seven more hours! I've been planning this project for such a long time. I picked out my paint color, which actually now that it's dry, I do like it. I kind of hated it while it was wet. I, I have been planning to do this. Like this wasn't just like a crazy, uh, I'm hungry and let's do something wild. Like I ordered the paint a while ago, but I decided this would be a really good time to do it, to distract myself from being hungry and thirsty. And then it just went terribly wrong. <laughs> this piece of wood is not um, treated. So whereas all the other horrendously ugly brown cabinets are like really glossy with this lacquer, this is not, it's just like a raw, wood with like ugly scuffs and stuff in it which are actually highlighted by the paint not distracted they they don't cover it up um but it also soaks in the paint so terribly that it does like dry it as soon as i put it on it was like pretty much dry so it looks terrible then i tried to put it on this part i took off a cabinet and um besides not being able to get the cabinet back on it will not stick even though all the reviews said that it could handle lacquered cabinets. It's not sticking. So I started a project and abandoned it very quickly. And that is how my first fasting experience during Ramadan is going. Uh, it is 11.30, 11.45, I think. So I have just over six hours left. Um, yeah, actually don't feel uh, as thirsty as I expected to feel at this point. I, yesterday, in anticipation of today, have fasted from this point forward yesterday. So I, from 11.30 until 6 p.m. last night, didn't eat or drink anything. And it was uncomfortable, but I did it. And I thought that that would help, like, mentally prepare me for today. So I've realized I'm halfway. So I've experienced now what I experienced yesterday. And now it's, like, my starting point for <coughs> the rest of the day. Uh, just keeping busy, trying to do home stuff, videos, emails, hanging out with the kids. <coughs> so here we go. Six, six and a half, six hours and 15 minutes roughly left to go. So James got this for me from our pharmacy. <laughs> it is uh, called a suwak, suwak al uh, Muslim. Yeah, and it's like a toothbrush because um, you also cannot brush your teeth uh, with water during this time. And so I did brush my teeth after my suhoor meal this morning, and then I will brush them again as soon as. I am able, but I wanted to show you, it's like this wooden kind of gummy, but, or like flexible, but woody thing. It smells like, um, like, uh, wood chips <laughs> uh, you'd put in the garden. And then James filed down this little piece. And then I guess you chew on it. Oh, it's a little salty. Oh, it's very salty. Uh, you can chew on it and make it all bristly. Oh, and then you can you can brush your teeth because um, if you imagine saliva 
helps clean your mouth and you're not drinking any water so you've limited saliva and it can cause very bad breath. So this is to help. I probably didn't chew this enough, but oh my God. Uh, you can clean your mouth since, since your mouth isn't self-cleaning as well. Oh, okay. Well, this is an experience. Uh, my friend just messaged me that she started her fast but has bowed out. So I'll see her at Iftar tonight and maybe I can get her to share her experience on here too. Uh, and her daughter did it too and is still going. So maybe she'll also come talk. Okay, I guess I'll finish brushing before we head out to the store and maybe my breath will be slightly better or worse if it smells like this thing. just past three o'clock which means three hours uh just shy of three hours left and this is where I'm starting to get really thirsty so um I went through kind of like the morning my body going where's the food where's the food and having some waves of hunger and then it like totally subsided and I felt pretty good most of the day um now that we are approaching sunset uh I think these three hours are going to be a little tough because I, my body definitely wants water, but, uh, just again, keeping busy, getting the house ready for company. Uh, James hung our dartboard, which whenever we're ready to play, we will need to just take that off the hook. But, um, in case any of our company coming tonight wants to play some darts, we're ready. <sighs> okay. So onward with the house cleaning, uh, until, until it's time. <laughs> Okay, it's one hour, one hour to go. I do want water really badly, but I'm getting really excited that I'm so close and I've almost made it through one day of fasting. Yay. Grilled halloumi on the table is so hard to resist. I'm down to like 20 minutes. Go. Bail on it. Here, James, what you got? Are you going to cheers me? All right, happy iftar. Yay. <laughs> 